Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and this is Tech Tips. In this episode of Tech Tips, I'm going to be continuing the Is Cloud Gaming Viable uh, series. In this specific video, I'm going to be uh, talking about some of the footage I recorded playing StarCraft 2 on the Liquid Skies uh, game streaming uh, service. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's get started. StarCraft 2, for the most part, is largely playable. Uh, there are a couple things that I wanted to draw attention to, though, uh, that you may have issues with if you want to play uh, StarCraft 2 on Liquid Skies Cloud Gaming Platform. Uh, the first thing to get just gets you some basic information, I played with the graphical settings uh, cranked all the way up and experienced 50 to 60 FPS uh, for the for about the first half of the game. Towards the end of the game, uh, those settings were averaging around 40 when you were just scrolling around the map. Uh, I did have like a baseline minimum FPS of around 10 FPS, uh, which was happening in the midst of a battle and kind of around the average of your battle fights when you're at someone's base assaulting it with a large uh, horde of uh, uh, units, I averaged around about 25 megabits per second. So I would recommend taking the graphics down a couple notches and then you should have a nice smooth experience. Uh, now a bit on bandwidth. I did some bandwidth testing at about 1080p, uh, 1080p at 60 FPS. I experienced about a maximum of 15 megabit per second. Uh, I achieved this uh, by utilizing Verizon's uh, broadband hotspot, which is simply a, a, their normal hotspot, but with some Ethernet jacks, uh, which let me connect directly uh, to my desktop. Uh, so I had a nice peer connection to their LTE network, uh, which let me have a faster connection than my ISP will traditionally give me, uh, which kind of taps out at 10 megabit per second, so I could test the higher end of this uh, service. Uh, you'll notice that the video will sometimes still get uh, messed up, and that's because it's simply pushing at the even at the maximum bandwidth that I'm able to get with the hotspot. Uh, so, but I'm pretty sure that my testing has uh, indicated that by streaming at a lower resolution at like 720p at 30 FPS, uh, I didn't really have those issues. So I'm pretty sure that is entirely uh, client side. I can't say uh, for 100% certain, certainly, but I'm pretty sure all the, lot, the vast majority of the graphic issues, if not all of them, are simply due to uh, bandwidth restrictions. Uh, so if you have a, a bandwidth, maybe shoot for about 20 megabit per second. Uh, that you can guarantee to yourself while you're gaming. They definitely say you can stream at 1080p, 60 FPS without any real hitches or anything. Uh, at about 720p and 30 FPS, I was averaging between four to six megabit per second, just for reference. Uh, so the issues I had with StarCraft 2, I'm not really like a competitive player at all. I not I hardly ever play StarCraft 2, just every once in a while. Uh, I will play it uh, casually, get some boss or in unranked matches or with friends uh, when we hang out. Um, so, one thing I had an issue with at my house is, uh, even playing locally, is the mouse issue. Uh, the mouse would sometimes leave the uh, screen, uh, even though there's options that are supposed to uh, kind of overcome that issue, that uh, your mouse leaving, the, not being locked to the screen. Uh, so it kind of seems like that issue might transcend or might just be kind of somewhat related. But in Liquid Sky, you can uh, lock your cursor to the Liquid Sky client. Now in StarCraft 2, when I did that, it actually rendered the mouse cursor invisible. I don't know if that's just inconsistency with how Liquid Sky and uh, StarCraft 2 kind of interact, um, but it is an issue that I had. So with my wanted display monitor, every time I go to the edge, I would not be, it, it would uh, stop rotating unless it was the top or the bottom, but either left or right, it would go to my other screen. Uh, so that is a, a pretty big issue uh, that if you're playing on a multi-monitor setup, it's going to be pretty much uh, very annoying to play. You have to use the mini-map heavily, and um, maybe you do that anyways. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a uh, hardcore uh, StarCraft player, so I'm not really versed on the kind of the suggested uh, play practices. Uh, so that, that is definitely something I wanted to draw your attention to, though, uh, if you're planning on playing StarCraft 2. 
so if you're on a multi-monitor setup, I would give this like a C rating. But if you're playing on a uh, single monitor setup, uh, and for casual, uh, unranked, or playing with friends uh, and experience, I'd give it a solid um, A minus to B uh, experience. Um, so pretty good over for the most part. Uh, just definitely just don't play it on a multi-monitor setup and you'll be fine. So I hope this video was informative as well as entertaining. I hope you found my horrible uh, ability to play StarCraft II enjoyable. Uh, and I hope this video kind of gave you some insight into the Liquid Sky uh, gaming platform uh, and whether it might be right for you. Uh, if you found this video interesting or enjoyable, make sure you give it a big like. Uh, that helps the channel as a whole as well as the vid video in general. In addition, make sure you share it with any friends that might be interested uh, in Liquid Sky's uh, Cloud Gaming platform. Uh, as well, as subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more great videos. If you have any uh, suggestions or um, feedback, make sure you leave those in the comments below or join my MZ community, uh, which uh, there's a link to in the description below uh, to communicate directly uh, with me. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time, Zach out.